A couple of words of warning and some explanation as far as the units that can be used when computing values using the E6B. First of all, make sure that your units are matching up. Nautical miles are associated with knots. Knots simply means nautical miles per hour. If you're using miles per hour, you're going to need to use statute miles in this case, and the calculations will work out the same. But again, nautical miles goes with knots. So let's take these three examples and see how to use the different units of the E6B such that it makes sense. As we mentioned, to compute minutes, we need to set speed and read distance over minutes. So let's set our speed of 110 at the top using the arrow. Again, I'm using the 1, 1 to represent 110. I'm off by a factor of 10, but that's okay. Now I need to do distance over minutes. I have distance, 1.6. Now we don't have a 1.6 on here, so what I can do is I can use, I can infer a decimal place between the 1 and the other 1, or in this case between the 1 and the 6 to achieve my 1.6. And the amount of minutes that I have is, I have 80, and what it's reading on the scale here is 85, 6, 87. Does 87 make sense? For this problem, I'm only going 1.6 nautical miles at 110 knots. Would it take me 87 minutes? No. Let's continue and do another problem. It'll make sense more after we do it. So say I'm going 16 nautical miles now. I already have my speed set. So I'm going to use the same numbers here, except without the decimal point in the middle. I'm reading the same number on the inner scale, 87. Is it going to take me 87 minutes? To go 16 nautical miles? No. Our last one. I can use six, 160 nautical miles, again as represented by the 16 on the E6B, where we can imply a zero at the end. Again, the number that I read off of the inner is 87. Does this make sense? Would it take me 87 minutes to go 160 nautical miles? Yes. Our planes travel at roughly 2 nautical miles per minute, so to see whether you're in the ballpark, you can simply take the amount of minutes, multiply it by 2, and you should be somewhere reasonably within the range of your nautical miles. So what about these two answers? These two simply need a decimal point. So instead of 87, our 16 nautical miles is actually 8.7, and our 1.6 nautical miles is actually 0.87 minutes. This all needs to be done just through a simple estimation and deciding what is a reasonable number.